Behind me is 37 feet and over 24,000 pounds of motorhome. How do we get this clean in less than a half hour? Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below and hit the notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. So, how do we clean this back here? 37 feet, 24,000 pounds. Well, this is the secret right here. It's the simple chuck water deionizer. What we have right here is probably one of the best gifts that MJ ever got me, okay? If you haven't seen this before, this is a water deionizer, and specifically it's uh, called the Simple Chuck. This is made by CR Spotless, and this retails for $399. And we're gonna put the link below uh, to our Amazon affiliate link. So, before I start this video, big shout out to RVing with Andrew Steele. Prior to watching his one of his videos on deionized water and washing motorhomes, we were doing it uh, washing with the pressure washer, but then squeezing it dry. Now, that would take us about an hour and a half. Now, we have greatly reduced our time. Like I said, we can get this whole thing washed and dried in less than a half hour, me and MJ. And this is the big reason right here, okay? So, what is a water deionizer? So, to make it really simple, basically, tap water, well water, uh, it's usually filled with minerals, salt, calcium, other minerals, okay? What happens is that when those minerals hit your paint and when they dry, they leave what's called watermarks. And watermarks are simply when the water evaporates, it leaves the minerals behind and it leaves these really nasty, and it could be damaged to the paint, like marks. What this does, uh, simple chuck and other water deionizing systems, they use resin filters and those filters filter out all the minerals on in the water, right? So what happens is you can wash your RV and then you don't have to dry it. You can let it air dry. And this is really helpful guys in the summer and if you're in places where it's really hot and sunny. It allows you to wash the direct sunlight and it allows you just to let it air dry, right? So the longest part of washing anything is really drying, especially something like this that's so big and so long. Okay, so how does this work? Okay, so it's a plastic uh, container. It contains two cylinders that are filled with resin. Okay, I'm gonna go over the outside. This weighs probably about 20 pounds. It's pretty portable. Uh, we carry this with us if we go on long trips. If anybody knows, if you have a motorhome, you know the front of a motorhome is flat and basically it's a bug magnet, especially in the summer. So carrying this allows us to quickly just spray down the front, get all those bugs off and just let it air dry like really quick. So if we go on long trips, it comes with us. You're gonna have uh, two uh, inlets or inlet and outlet. So you're gonna come, your tap water, well water is coming through here. The water will travel through the filters and then it's gonna come out deionized the other side. Now you have to use this with some kind of pressure washer system. And this video is not about washing your RV. We actually did a video on washing your RV and we're gonna link that above, okay? The other cool thing about this is that it has these windows, right? Now you see all, everything is blue here, but you know when you have to change the filters because if you look over here, when the first two, the uh, bottom and the middle windows show yellow that lets you know that it's time to change the filters now cr spotless simple chuck they have a really easy system uh, basically you go and you order the new resin filters from them uh, it's a hundred i believe in fifty dollars they send you two new filters then they also send you a box and you send back the old filters so it's super simple the filters last pretty long we used them all last season but i changed them out for this season and we wash our motorhome pretty frequently, like at least every other week or every three weeks. So it lasts pretty long, guys. So let's get into the guts of what this is, okay? There's uh, six wing nuts, right? There's three in the front, three in the back. I already unscrewed the three in the back. I'm just gonna take the ones up front. So when you're gonna go change the filters, guys, you just unhook everything, right? You have your two resin filters. Now understand that these will hold water, right? So if I pull this up, there's still gonna be water coming out. But basically, you get the new filters, and then you just swap them out. And it's easy peasy, guys. That's it. Now, are there other DI uh, water systems? Yeah, there are. You can make these probably for less. Is there one that's more simple? Probably not. Like, this is really easy, and I'm all about keeping things easy. So maybe I spent 100 bucks extra, but 
It's simple and it's, it's portable. So, it's so simple. What does it say on it? That even Chuck could use it, right? <laughs> simple Chuck. So what we're going to do, we're going to set this up and show you exactly how this works. Now, some of you guys may be saying, wow, $399, that's a lot of money. And yeah, it is, right? Is this 100% necessary? No, it's not. But what it does, it saves you an incredible amount of time and it allows you to keep your rig cleaner more frequently, right? So I had called around before I bought this thing. I had spec that and called around different detailers to clean this behind me. Cheapest I got in Northern New Jersey, $250 for just a wash and dry. This pays for itself in two washes. Now, could I wash it once a season? Yeah, I could do that, but it's not gonna look as nice as it did before. So it's really investing in keeping your motorhome clean and it's completely personal. So enough of that, let's get into how this works, okay? Everyone knows that Izzy's not gonna wash our RV once a season. No. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna put your, uh, your water source in the inlet, okay? You screw that in. Now, guys, this is not what comes stock. It comes with some different ones, but um, it fell over one day and I cracked one. <laughs> So just so you know, these could be easy to replace at a big box store. Like I just went to, uh, I think Home Depot to like the garden department and it was all there and I just replaced them. Now this is gonna be your output, okay? So you make sure everything's nice and tight. So again, the water's gonna come in, go through the filters, come out the ionized. The output is gonna go into your pressure washer, whatever that may be. Now guys, let me just show you, this is the Greenworks. 1700 psi electric pressure washer if you want to watch something funny we did an unboxing of this <laughs> it was our first video ever it's really really bad and we're going to link that up above okay so let's hook this up all right so quickly what are you going to need to get this job done you need the simple chuck which we showed you the some kind of pressure washer you're going to i would recommend a lamb's wool pad we will link this below also foam cannon soap which actually this is what i use now turtle wax uh the premium wash and wax turtle wax ice it's cheap simple and it foams up really well so enough of that let's start first thing you're going to want to do you're going to want to rinse your motorhome rv whatever you have just to get anything loose off right so we're going to quickly do that All right, I know at this point, some of you guys are cringing, saying I'm taking a power washer to the sidewall and it's gonna damage. So, that's not true. Uh, we actually, if we use a low pressure power washer, uh, if you're using something high pressure, I would agree with you, but some of the top detailers out there doing motor homes that cost way more than this are using the same method, all right? So the second thing you wanna do, put the foam cannon onto your pressure washer. You wanna foam everything, let that work in. So we're gonna do that now. Now you could probably hear that in the background and what that's doing, that's the foam soap. It's, it's taking up whatever dirt, it's just uh, dissolving it and bringing it down, right? So what you wanna do, and this is normally when MJ would be helping me, but well, she's on the camera so she can't do that. So we have two buckets here. We have a bucket of clean water. We have a bucket of soapy water. We're gonna go uh, soap, rub everything down, clean and so forth. So we're probably three minutes into it now and we're gonna get the whole driver's side done. So this is gonna be real quick, guys. All right, we uh, did everything with the wool pad. Just a disclaimer, okay? I'm not a professional detailer. This is how we do it. I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that have things their way, and that's fine. So do your own homework before you take uh, our advice. So on the wheels, I'm just gonna use a microfiber towel because the wheels tend to get a lot of dirt and grit in them. And I don't want to mix that up with the uh, wool pad. So I'm going to go in here. Real simple, guys. Alcoa wheels, they don't need polishing. They stay pretty shiny, pretty long. So that's all we're going to do on that end, okay? Now we're going to go back. We're going to rinse everything off. And then we're going to let it air dry. Move to the back and move to the other side. All right, guys, we are back. It's been about 45 minutes now. This is because I'm doing it alone, right? MJ's on the camera. So I want you to see, I don't know if she can get this, right? If you see here, you see the little drops? So this is pretty much kind of dried off on its own. I'm gonna come over to this panel here. This is kind of the finished product, right? Like I just, whatever drops were, I just hit them with a towel. And then uh, I did a quick spray with this stuff. And I'm gonna do another video on this. We're not gonna cover it here, but this stuff is really good. 
quick uh, spray wax. But step back and uh, just look at it, guys. I mean, you could see my reflection in here. So that's it, guys. Actually, the cleanup of the equipment's probably going to take longer than actually cleaning this thing. So. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to share this video. Also comment below. If you're new to the channel, again, subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. And if you know anybody that uses a different method or you use a different method, please share it with us. To the left, I'm gonna link my RV DIYs as well as RV essential upgrades. So for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.